Welcome back to my Let's Play for Ball Arms Alter Code F, and, and thanks to a tip, I was reminded I need to head to the ship graveyard in order to advance the story, which does make sense. As we all know, things that get lost in the ocean tend to wash up on this beach for whatever reason. It's just the way the ocean currents work, I guess. So what we seek can indeed be found here, so we can finish off the gold wing. Which is important, because we need a better ship. We get the hard reach spots. Just fall. Oh yeah. Oh, I selected. Good. I don't know when this will come to play, but I hate that box. Let me try again. I'm oh, busted anyway. I'm still not sure how on earth you're supposed to get on that um path out there to even try and get to it, because it's not like there's any boxes you can like get rid of over here or something with the hand grenade. I love how we can hit people's houses, they're like, whatever. Pretty nonchalant about that. But yeah, first time I came over here and I was looking for, um, the Jedi Circuit, it took me almost 10 minutes to find the captain over here. So I decided to restart the episode in order to save time, because let's face it, he wants to watch me run around this town for 10 minutes, talking to everyone, hearing the same dialogue I've heard before. They don't have anything new. It's pretty pathetic, to be honest. Heck, some of them still comment on the golem. We've had that for forever now, it feels like. Yep, it's the other Gemini circuit. We really should take that. No, no, we just meant the Gemini circuit. We're that kind of a douchebag. Where are you gonna find a doctor here? Pikachu's completely lost any sense of common objectives here. We can't just leave the guy to die. I don't know how he didn't drown when he's laying in there face first, but whatever. Apparently he can breathe water. He must have gills. Must be some sort of weird part. A million part fish thingy. Or something weird, you know? Maybe it's a genetic experiment. That's how he's still alive. Maybe it's something else Emma was working on in secret. Better watch ourselves. Don't sleep near her. She might turn you into a freak. <sighs> sort of like in that one experiment in Naruto. Ugh. Well, it better. Otherwise, there's no point in getting it at all. My question is, is she really older than us? Much less much older? And why is she calling us her s calling herself our sister? Is there meant to be some sort of innuendo there? Is she coming on to me? Your advances aren't needed. We already have a female love interest here. One's for amplification, one's for control, right? There's no point in having amplification if you can't control it. They better really accomplish great things. I need this airship, man. I suppose that is true. In large groups, we can do much of anything. Can do much. Can do many things. Alone, not so much. Jeez, get my works tongue tied. Ah, so they're all mad scientists. Probably not as crazy as you, though. Well, why would she tell you about the aviation device? Ah. One of your master's dreams, huh? Yeah, she just likes to give people short notice. And she loves to take charge. She'll be prepared to work to the bone. Ouch. <sighs> Far southwestern point? Hmm. 
Well, if the reading's gone away, why do you think something's going to happen? Calm before the storm, maybe? Just call it a plane. Seriously. Or an airship. Airship's probably more appropriate, considering how it functions. Though it does look a lot like a plane, to a certain extent. Uh... A hand-drawn background. At least I think it was. You're right, we can't waste any more time. I don't want to waste any more time. We shouldn't just go for it, you should test it first. Let's hope we're that kind of people then. Because some people don't do that well under pressure. I still don't get why it's called the Gullwing. I could imagine it must be lifted from something or somewhere. I don't know how long the name Goldwing's been used in Final Fantasy games, to be honest, because my only experience with a ship named the Goldwing in Final Fantasy is 10. So I'm not an expert on Final Fantasy lore, to be upfront and honest. And most of my experiences with Final Fantasy have been pretty awful, because I've spent most of my time on 12 and 13, and 12 had all that boring political dialogue that was delivered in Old English to make it sound all fancy, but really didn't feel like it had any real heart to it and tend to be pretty boring, I'm pretty honest. Though to be fair to the game, I guess, I went on my way to hit max level before I even started playing through most of the story. So I was basically running around just one-shotting most of the bosses until about near the end of the game. I was even taking on hunt missions that would probably be near difficult to do early on if you weren't, you know, abusing the leveling system like I did by only using Vaughn for a while and using his limit breaks to take out this one flying enemy that was worth a lot of points because you could hit it, run away to a safe point, then come back. Looks like a perfect place to hide something. Yeah, I figured there'd be a puzzle box in here or something. There's no way you can have this big open space that you can't normally get to until this point of the game and not have hidden something in it. I mean, that would be dumb. So obviously there was something hidden in it. The game's pretty predictable. I'm sure a lot of the other cans like this also have things in them, whether they're hidden items or puzzle boxes. Okay, let's let's do this. Of course, that means probably one, some of the easier ones that are still left are probably on the map somewhere, I'm guessing, and I just keep missing them. Oh, not one of these. Oh, man, I hate these. I hate puzzles that operate in a three to operate like this. I really do. one that's too wide or something so I can drop multiple things on the thing. I was just like I'm wasting my time. That took no skill whatsoever. That was pure dumb luck. Didn't think that would work for me, did you? First try. First time lucky. I honestly wasn't expecting to do that. Sometimes luck, the RNG is in your favor, as they say. Sometimes it isn't, but when it is, it's beautiful. If only it was more in my favor in Forbidden Memories, that'd be nice. I have thought about speedrunning that game, but... 
I'd probably want to have someone to commentate with me if I was going to do that. And my brother is mostly hanging out with his friend's house now, and he's probably a bigger expert on the game than I am, because he's watched a lot of other people speedrun the game, so he knows a lot of the, the strats on how to do it effectively. And yeah, I've been having loading issues with this game in particular. I don't know why, I just have... Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for right now, anyway. Let's see. Alright, solve that mess. I did the puzzle boxes in there. That's a devil's playground. Not what I want. Is we're here. Jesus, we want a circle. I guess I mean the planes there, that's why I can't come in. Which makes some sense, I suppose. I wouldn't want the giant to land on the plane and crush it. That would suck. It just a flower. Sad, but whatever. Uh. Crap, I think this is the area where I need to land. This train's too rough. I can't land the plane here. I'm gonna have to go visit a town or something. I can't reset the map. Darn you world map and disappearing when I pick up items. It's really freaking annoying. It's one of those weird glitches that makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, at least you can fix it, but still, it's irritating that it's a problem to begin with. Like, I one time was um, picking up an item, because I was running around and found it off screen while I was looking for some puzzle boxes, and the land I was standing on vanished on me, so the only way I could get out of there was to use a teleporter gem. Otherwise, I was going to have to save and then reload. Item. This way I can avoid random encounters. Not always a good thing, but sometimes helpful. Pandemonium, eh? Hmm. See, there a powerful optional extra dungeon or our next area. Guess I'll know depending on what they say when we get in there. So 
suppose there is. Yeah, let's. Let's hope it's something we can even manage in the first place, right? Come on, game. You can do this. You can do it! Magic Barrier as well. Oh, just Mega Berry. Let's see. Oh, that definitely hurt it. More Toxic Breath. Missing Lobo. Um. That ain't what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I can't do it yet. my um FP faster, right? I did see an odd um Godzilla keychain on an odd um Goodwill earlier though. That had a soft um, plush body, but then it had a plastic head. Really odd choice I thought. Probably just poison us again. But I fear this will at least raise the gauge so we can get ready to hopefully go all out with a Gatling gun. It's not like I don't have a few to spare right now. Yeah, I don't use the Guardians too often, do I? That creature is that thing anyway. Jerk. Here. Taste lead.
Oh shoot, it survived that? <laughs> Payback. Oh, heal myself. Revive fruit. This thing's got more HP than I thought. Took that and just shrugged it off. Damn. What's this thing's hide made out of? We should make armor from it. Totally impossible. thing considering it just counters but I do guess we do have a move that's meant for breaking tough defenses this wasn't always an option but why does it spam poison so much you know it does seem a bit odd you know Is gonna do enough damage to kill it. <sighs> Man, you're ugly. Some sort of dragon turtle. Well, at least we got migrant seal out of the deal. And a level up. Not a question is, what on earth is this place? And will the game be able to load it? Hmm. Uh oh. He's back again. So in death, it creates a poison clown that paralyzes people. I hate you. I really do. Comrade. <laughs> Needed, eh? But not anymore, huh? Do you actually lock us up, or are we going to be left to get up hours later after he's done his experiment and bamped off? Hey, don't blame yourself. I wasn't expecting it to blow up and release toxins like that either. Hey, the worst he can do is hurt his fist, maybe he can break the wall. A 
escape, huh? Find a nifty item down there or something. Ah, we can send the mouse down it. Probably. We're counting on a talking mouse to save our lives. And it's not even named Mickey. Ugh. Hopefully the Han Pond's up for it, right? He better be. gonna get more complicated. We're gonna have to go through much bigger tubes. We're gonna have to feel like a mouse trapped in a tunnel. So far this isn't too bad. But no, I'm not like eventually it's one where it's timed. Just so the developer is going to say, we hate you. Talking, eh? What are they saying? Is it important? Hmm. That's BS. Humans create life all the time by breeding. Or even creating new life, which would be impossible. As far as we know. Actually, I think we may have done that already. So, whatever. Too. Eh, that sounds more like what they're gonna do. Demons destroying stuff. We're gonna conquer you, but destroy you at the same time, because that's just how we roll. Well, hopefully they didn't see me. I don't need them launching their demon powers back here. I got enough problems. And yeah, I bet he could climb all that stuff because mice are unbelievably athletic, man. Don't let the things pudgy body fool you. It's a master getting places, trust me. Ow. My face! Prison 2. Great. <laughs> we'll keep fighting anyway, because you can't crush our spirits. You may break our bodies, but never that. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. It's that messed up, man. 
It's really messed up. <laughs> well, that was a simple one. What else do they have to say? Is something stupid? by your evil spear, huh? <laughs> so you say. Oh, don't worry. I'll undo him. Oh, now you're admitting we can do it. Nice change of tone there. Mirror? What mirror? Are they gonna bounce a laser beam off of it and blow us all up like a real genius? Oh great, now there's three paths. How am I supposed to know which one's the right one? something useful. Uh, probably. So now we can get in and talk with the various characters, okay. What's in this room then? Deeper. So I mean, this is gonna be where the items are kept because we can get that stuff back. It'll be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there probably is. But we gotta find it. I think this one might lead to the room we're already in. Yeah, we were in here. Which means that other one leads to a path I haven't explored yet. to somewhere important. Okay. Where does this lead to? It's like the only unexplored path left down here. name of it. Because I'm going to assume he didn't give us its actual name. So I 
go out this way and I learn what the name of the spear is. Or do I have to head all the way back to um my human's quarters? Well, Pikachu can tell us what the name of its spear is. He probably can't talk to us to the bars because reasons. to try and map my way back out of this thing. And no, I'm not like they might have mentioned the name of the spear previously, I just can't remember it. <coughs> it wouldn't exactly surprise me if that was the case, though. Spear. But when in doubt, hopefully the characters can tell you what its name is, right? I'm surprised there's all these pipes around here. What purpose do they serve, really? Seem to do anything. Well, it's not really my job to worry about castle construction here, is it? That's its name. Ah, uh, that's a really nasty, weird sounding name. But I'm just gonna write that down. And next time we'll um, start with Hanban over there unlocking the doors. Till then, I assume can I access my items? No, I can't. I can't save in here. Damn, I guess I gotta continue until I get back there. <sighs> I hate this. I guess if you already knew the name of the spear, you could just uh, skip that. Not me. No, I gotta run all the way back through here. <sighs> Doesn't everyone want to run through holes? Ow. Hopefully no one will ask about the lines on my face. It'll be too embarrassing. Why we can't access the menu though right now, I don't know. I guess they assumed you wouldn't want to stop until you'd freed your characters again. That's not necessarily the case, as I just proved, though. <sighs> well, we're almost back, at least. I should put us on top near the outside, and there's a much shorter path to get to where we need to go. Hopefully after we've freed the humans, we'll be able to get back to work and save, right? Okay, 
this should do it. I hope. Come on. So I take some actual little room so I can get to the password. to something. something in there. But I can save here all for sure. So, yeah, I'm going to be stopping now. We can work on getting everyone rescued next time. Till then, see ya!